Hello and welcome to another Mimosa Field video with me, Dustin Stock. I have guests here today, David from Support and Art from Support. Hi guys. Hello. So uh, today we're going to be talking about the differences of cabling and going through an actual crimping demonstration. First off, let's start with the different types of cabling here. Uh, we have Cat6 shielded. It's uh, thick with a nice plastic separator inside with a full wrapping. We have Cat6, it's got the plastic separator inside without the foil. We have Cat5e shielded, and it's got a beautiful shield inside but no separator. And Cat5 unshielded, and it's just all twisted together pretty much. You've got two different ways of crimp. You've got 568A and 568B, and really the difference is just the, the pairs and how they're crimped down. Uh, most people out there in the world today use 568B, which uh, that crimping order starts with white orange, orange, white green, blue, white blue, green, white brown, brown. I'm going to go ahead and do a crimp real quick and show these two fine gentlemen here. And then they're going to try and do it themselves. So first off, use your, your fancy blue crimpers here. Paladin crimpers, by the way, and you're going to stick them in about, I don't know, two, two and a half inches, and then crimp down until it's pretty solid. Spin around a few times, and just go ahead and uncrimp, and then just break your shield off here. Just wiggle it back and forth if it cut through. Now, remember, you don't want to crimp down all the way or it's just going to come undone. You want to crimp down most of the way till you can feel the blade cutting into the, the shielding. Then just go around a few times. Uh, once you're done, Art, just go ahead and uh, spread your cables out like so. And then we want to pull this plastic shielding here out some so you can use uh, your dikes, a uh, pair of pliers, whatever you want. Don't crimp down on it too much, but you want to you want to cut it or pull it out just a little bit, depending on the kind of cable end you're using, because this can make it hard to crimp later on. Do not cut the drain wire off, which is the ground wire. Just fold it back out of the way for now. And once you get your, your shielding out of the way, just go ahead and start unwinding your wires here. Just untwist them. You want to pull on your wires and straighten them out before you start lining them up. Also a good tip is to take your pliers and crunch your shield down a little bit. And then we'll start with uh, this wiring pattern here. You can see I'm starting with orange white and then orange, green white, blue, blue white, green, brown white brown. And then once you get all of that lined up together, then you can pull on that some more kind of straighten them out, get them where they're sitting next to each other together, where they're not wanting to cross on each other. Uh, depending on how much extra you have, cut off uh, a couple inches where you have about an inch left over. We have shireene ends with the shireen cabling we're using. There's little inserts that go on here. So we just want to thread the insert here. And before we crimp our cabling, just like I was talking about, we want to make sure our, our copper is still in order. So orange, white, orange, green, light, blue, blue, white, green, brown, white, brown. So you want to take your end and you want to kind of be flush with the, the sheathing and the inside of the end here where you've got enough sh sheathing inside the end to crimp down on. And then you want to take your insert to line up with the top of your end and cut flush to that. I'm going to go ahead and slide this end on here. You need to look at the end of your cable here, but you want to make sure that every piece of copper is at the very end of your cable before you crimp it down. Because if it's not, then you're either going to run into a 100 meg problem or it might not work at all because power is not reaching the ethernet port of the radio. So now that this end is done, I'm going to go ahead and crimp it down.
And then you still have your drain wire here. So you're going to wrap it around this last piece. And then you're going to bend it over and take a pair of pliers and just kind of crimp that shielding down around the wire. And that's it, guys. So uh, pretty easy once you practice a few times. Uh, I do recommend buying a box of ends and crimping, you know, 15 or 20 ends if you've never done it before or you've never crimped Cat6 shielded cable because it is difficult. And once you do that, you follow the tips and tricks on the video here, uh, you should be crimping cable in less than five minutes. Want to learn more about Mimosa? Check out our other YouTube videos on our channel or just log on to mimosa.co. That's about it, so we'll see you next time.